Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I wanted to share with you guys an alternative way of organizing and playing back your drum samples using the Alchemy synth as a sampler. So let's open up Alchemy, click File, Initialize Preset, and that should bring you to a plain vanilla setting. Under Sources, Source A, you click Saw, and that should bring up a submenu, click Import Audio. So what you're seeing is the import section, and this is where you're gonna import and preview your drum samples. The first thing you have to do is make sure that the folders show up easily. And the way to do that is to add it in your favorites tab. So we need to find out, you need to find out where your samples are located and then add it as a favorite. Mine is in an external hard drive, Samsung T5, and I'm gonna click library two. It's a file, uh, it's a folder called noise. So here it is. I'm going to click it. And you should see the corresponding folder show up at the top section of this area. So it says noise, and beside it, there's a star. That's the uh, favorites icon. Just left click it, and it should show up. So here it is. What makes this a great preview is the fact that for those of you who play who use the EXS24 or the media browser, you'll have issues with different audio files like 24-bit or 32-bit. This one doesn't have any of the, those issues, and it plays samples back pretty fast. So let's say I wanted to find something. There's also a search menu over here. I want to find a kick. These are all the kicks. So let's say we want one of these. Let's say... We want a snare this time. It's pretty loud. Let's say I like the snare. Before I import it, we want to make sure that we use Alchemy as a sampler. So at the bottom left, in analysis mode, just make sure you click sampler. And for mapping, we're using drums, so use a drum. If you're importing something outside of a drum, maybe a one-shot vocal sample or a key sample, Keep the mapping to pitch so that Alchemy, when it's importing it, it'll find out what the pitch is and map it to your MIDI keyboard so you don't have to retune it and stuff like that. So our mapping is drum because we're using one-shot drum samples. So I'm going to click import, and there it is. So the name should change in source A. That was saw before. Now it's the sample we've imported. And you'll see over here, this is your ADSR. You can shape your sample. And for voices, just to be safe, if it's a one-shot drum sample, we want to make sure that there's only one voice. We don't want to play the keys, so the polyphony has to be one. And under the master tab over here, you'll see voices. Just make sure the number eight is one. And that's how you organize your drum samples using the Alchemy synth. Now, if you don't want to go through this method, but you want to use the Alchemy synth, there is another way. You can literally use anything, your iTunes browser, anything you want. Find the audio file. So let's say we have a one shot over here. Oh, I like that kick. You can just left click it and drag it and just put it in the sampler mode. And change the voices to one again. And you'll see that it's no longer at C3. C3 is the, def the default setting if Alchemy cannot find the pitch. What's really good about this is that like the 808, the 808 video I made, it finds the pitch even for samples where finding it with just your ear might be hard if you're not a trained musician. So how do we find out what the original key is, what the original pitch is? So now we know that it's not playing back in C3. So, oh, Alchemy determined that it has a discernible pitch. What is it? This is really good if, you have, if you're trying to stick to a certain key. So in the global section, I'm going to click under it, A, because we imported it into source A. And I'm going to click the edit button. And yeah, it looks pretty intimidating, but you just want to look down over here where it says learn. To the left, it says E0. So that is the original pitch of the kick. It's really good for testing out which which of your drum samples have a discernible pitch. I hope this video helped, and take care.